So, after not successful attempt to cross the Bergefell National Park, I was overthinking a lot and I decided to give second chance, but just this time from the other side of the mountains. Because in the middle of the National Park it was disaster as you could see. It was snowing and the mud and my legs were stuck in up to the knees to the mud and because of the power bank we was forced to turn around. So after I go dig into the maps I decide that instead of crossing from here to here where we were stuck right here by this lake we will try attempt to cross by this valley. The straight line showing 60 kilometers, so it's approximately the same as I would hike from here to here. Just this time I was going back all the way to the Rurvik and on E6 road and walk 33 kilometers to this spot. That it's some toilets and some cafeteria marking the north of Norway zone. And I decide that we will try attempt go through this valley. This time I'm again charged the power bank and I made sure that any button will press in the backpack so it will not charge off like the last time. And yeah guys I didn't film for the last two days because I was very disappointed that I couldn't cross the national park from the first attempt. And I was walking by the E6 main road on the asphalt so nothing special happened. But I met Polish guy. It's actually Lithuanian's neighbors. So we had a nice conversation. He led me to place my tent in his backyard. He even invited me to sleep in his place, but you know, I don't want to leave my dog alone. I get used to sleep with him in the tent. But he gave some tea for me. He invited me to eat a Polish national soup from cucumber so it was very nice man i know you will watch my video i'm appreciate one more time man from all my heart i needed something homemade because as everybody know i'm getting sick from this dansk salami and he also gave me a pie that i'm thinking to eat right now but i kind of want to keep it for the evening when we will be in the woods in the national park so I don't know when I will eat but probably I will keep it for the evening so shout out to you Kaitan if I spelled your name good it was very delicious soup you are a really nice person thank you for the free spot on the grass and by the way thank you for charging my power bank so this time I will not go with the empty power bank to the national park and yeah guys, that's the story, nothing special happened on these two days on the road, so it was no point to film for me. And like I said, I was overthinking the plan how to cross this national park because I really don't leave him behind. I'm not surrendering so easy, you know, so I will give the second chance for this national park. And also from these sides of the mountains, it's not much snow. Of course, when we go deeper, it probably will be in the higher altitude. But also, I check the maps and we will cross through the valley. At least that's how I want it, because it's the smartest decision. And it's not very high altitude, it's forest, so it's good. Maybe it will be much drier there. But it's a lot of rivers waiting for us to cross. But with these new boots that these hunters gave me for free, which they ride me for free also from that lake in the national park I think it will be much easier this time because last time I was walking in minus two with wet feet with this broken <laughs> Solomon shoes and you saw it what condition they was so it was kind of cold but the problem was only the power bank because it could lead me to the failure to lose in the mountains, be out of the battery on my phone, and then I couldn't even call for the rescue, for the emergency. So yeah, guys, let's try second time. Let's push it. 
Let's start the bullshit. <laughs> Straight line to the mountains, guys. Sure. Okay guys, it's getting very dark, we need to find fast as possible some campsite, some flat grass and dry, so we can lay our tent and go sleep in it for tonight. We also walk like 20 kilometers, so it's enough I think for today. Almost backwards. Almost backwards. Oh. Fuck. So dense bushes. Not the easiest walk. But better than walk with the broken shoes on the on the mines too and with snowstorms okay guys now it's super dark Ooh. Houston we have a problem Oh man
Okay, guys. I don't know how you can see me, but we find some little bit flatter and drier spot. At least it looks like, but when you look more into this spot, it looks more wetter and more without level. So, but yeah, I don't know. It's totally dark, like in shithole. So I think we have what we have, you know. It's everywhere wet anyway, so. I don't know where else to place. So yeah guys, let's place our tent and let's eat some dinner. Winner, winner, salami dinner. <laughs> Finish guys. Tent is standing, phone is charging, power bank have 100% of battery. Now just let's check for a water and I will show you how to find water in the darkness. Just shut your mouth and just listen. There. Aye. Fresh spring water. Who could be better? Only orange juice with the ice cubes. Opa. Perfect. Fresh water with some forest minerals. Nothing could be better. Nothing could be better. Now let's fill this body. Finish. I almost forgot to show the pie that Kaitan, this Polish guy, gave me before I leave. Of course, I bite right now this corner because 
I was very curious to taste and it tastes un unbelievable. I will put some extra Nutella on it. And now I'm boiling some water so I will make hot cacao and it will be the best munchies ever. Thank you Kaiten one more time. Bravo, bravo guys. I'm feeling like in home. We have Nutella, we have pie, we have hot cacao. What could be better, yes, in but we ate some salami, phone is charging, my spirit is charging, my mental state is charging by seeing things like this. Nothing could be better, guys. So, yeah, guys. Now we will say good night for sure. Good morning. <laughs> we having 11:30 right now, and I overslept a lot because my body energy levels is dropping down. So it's very nice just to sleep and relax. <laughs> but yet the goal is 20 kilometers, but I don't know how it will go through these old bushes and trees and grasses. I also today saw that all grass around us it's laid out so I think it's animals sleeping here. So I'm looking forward to capture some more animals. I don't think we will see some bears here because the bears is more to the Swedish border in this national park and we in another side of this national park far away from the Swedish border, so... I'm not that optimistic about bears in that side of the national park, but yeah. We have what we have, and now let's eat breakfast and let's push. Let's push, guys. Oh man, I'm so tired, actually. It feels the journey will never end up. <laughs> That's some hardcore stuff, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the jungles. Da -da 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 -da. Welcome to the jungle. Cha.
Chacha. Good boy.
So we was walking by the side of this river and I was hoping for find some path how to cross this river and I find this path it looks like humans made but oh, it's still too deep I don't want to jump off my shoes I think we will try to walk a little bit further and see what's there oh. it was raining so much this season snowstorms was came like a couple days ago and now everything melting and now the rivers is just too aggressive too much flooded so yeah oh man or maybe I just will jump off my shoes and I don't know what to do. I want to cross faster this river because our time is expensive now. When the sunset it's 17.58 or something. So yeah guys. Or oh, you know what? Maybe I will give a try with the shoes to cross this river. Here it not look so deep, so hopefully <laughs> we will not fall <laughs> and go down all the way from where we started. Just need to be very slow because it's very slippery. Oh, I can feel the stream. Take my phone in another hand. Okay, guys. Oh, this truck is moving. Oh man. Woo! It's just only. It's only a couple steps. Only a couple steps and it's everything over in the good way or in the bad way. Okay, let's do our final step. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah boy, yeah boy, yeah boy, yeah boy. Good job! And, and it's on path. Finally. Oh, look to that. Look to this path. Perfect. And look to this what I find. It was by this mailbox. I leave it so I think. It's for everyone who need it, so I'm 100% need it because I will change. I will change to this one. That one is much smaller, and this will be perfect. The winter is coming, and I have summer gear still, so maybe it will be a lifesaver for me in the future. So far, so good. We walk like one and a half kilometers or so on this path. So it makes our life much easier. I pass a couple cabins. It's probably some hunter's cabins. Hide it in the bushes. And yeah, let's see how far we can walk on this. Because right now it's leading straight to the north, to the right direction. We walk over five kilometers. 
15 more to go, but I don't think we will manage to walk that far. Also, I wake up very late. So, yeah. Let's push, let's push, let's push. So, unfortunately, this path ends up where you can see the shelter. And now, again, some <laughs> grass with water waiting for us and some forest. Just check this out, guys. This view. Avocate.
it looks like that we reached some gravel road again man this valley was beautiful I swear to god it was beautiful it's probably the most beautiful place I walked yet in Norway I don't regret anymore that we didn't manage to cross from the first attempt the Björgefell National Park and we walk by the side of the mountains just look at these guys unbelievable beauty so let's hit the mini bridge and let's go on the gravel road Check this out guys, <laughs> what I find, a open, not locked, some small cabin or I don't know how to call this thing but it have fireplace, it have locks and I think if I just put my mattress right here and I put for sin but right here the mattress and use couple locks to the fireplace so I have cozy Friday tonight. Maybe the owners will not be mad on me. I'm just will overnight and keep going tomorrow, you know. And it's getting dark and I will save a lot of time to by not placing my tent, you know, so it's kinda jackpot for us with Sinbad and Sinbad like this place. <laughs> He just missing home that we don't have anymore. Our home is tent right now, guys. So yeah, guys. I really enjoyed today the valley of Björgefell National Park. It was one of the most beautiful places I was yet in Norway. I saw a lot of mountains, but this place was something different. So fire is going Simba just ate his food the bed is ready for sleep and finish our today is over in this dryer cabin drying room or I don't know how to call it but yeah I'm going to eat my salami which is I'm going to take a nap until tomorrow and tomorrow I think we will reach a main road that will lead us to the city where the post office because Sinbad food is supposed to arrive with my new shoes and my winter jacket so life will be easier from then hopefully <laughs> If it will be not too heavy to walk with this winter jacket. But I checked temperature, it shows that up to minus 7, up to minus 8 will be very soon, I think, Thursday, next Thursday, or even Wednesday. So it's like not so much days, 5 days, and real cold will come. I check my sleeping bag, the comfort is showing up to minus 1, the next level minus 7 and the critical minus 18 I think so, but in minus 18 you will 
amputate your limbs, you know. <laughs> so I think even up to minus seven it will be cold for me in this sleeping bag, but if I will get a winter jacket, take more socks on my feet, I think I will survive. We need so yeah guys finally we having a warm evening with some fire besides I'm out of my Nutella I just checked so no sweet cookies for me oh well that's the life of adventurous Thank you very much for the warm shelter that we need to push forward guys oh. We have for a little bit this gravel road but I check on the maps it's lasting for one more kilometer and then it's over Then it's back to the jungles, baby. Yeehaw! And this is where the road end up, guys. Back to the jungles. Back to the jungles. <laughs> yeah, boy. It's very dense, very dense bushes. Okay, okay. Let's think. Let's go here. Come. Come. No, 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 Good boy. So nice. So guys, I just checked how much battery I have left on camera and it's showing only 5% so I think it's one of the last views we've seen until we reach camping, spot, camping site and I will charge again my phone. So yeah guys, let's push the last kilometers through the jungles through the Norwegian jungles and then it's waiting for us road again oh it's kind of deep <laughs> not deep at Oh, 
almost finished after this forest. We having a river and after the river it's supposed to be the asphalt road or gravel road. I don't care what road but yeah. We're going out of this valley. It was the most beautiful valley I walk yet in Norway. And unfortunately we need to say goodbye. And move forward. Because winter is already here. A little bit further from here, so... I mean in the mountains it's already winter. But a little bit lower the sea level. Seems all good, but... I checked the weather app and... Nothing promising. Up to minus eight in the in the low sea level. So up there it's probably freezing cold already. Oh man, I need to eat much more. My energy levels is so low, and I'm getting skinnier day by day. So yeah, guys. I would love to eat some uh, family size pizza or a couple of kebabs in the row to satisfy my empty stomach and my mind. Okay, this river is much wider than I thought. I think there looks something promising But this all rocks Okay, let's walk and check For some walkable spot on the river Oh, 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 Merry Christmas! It starts snowing again and it's better than the rain, guys. So yesterday when I reached that river, my phone dies and I wasn't be able to cross that river for one and a half hour. I was looking for a not so deep place where I could walk through and only after one and a half hour I found that after that we came back on the asphalt road and after some kilometers I find uh, some school where I place my tent and I see some random houses so I walk like always to ask for a water and for to charge my power bank and of course they did it and today when I wake up they invite me for breakfast and let me to use hot shower so bravo for these guys and after the shower they gave me some thermo clothes from wool so now i have two pairs of the thermo underwear so it will be for me a lifesaver in the freezing temperature because as you know i don't have good sleeping bag my old gear is summer gear so it will be definitely a game changer for me and they give some food for Sinbad because the owner of the house has also Siberian Husky so I take for two days worth of food for Sinbad and they gave me some munches they feed me, they give me hot tea they motivate my mental state and we're ready to push like always so yeah guys, shout out for you for this kind two guys who helped me out in this situation and I guess let's push let's push to the post office where my shoes is waiting and my winter jacket and probably that's it from 
these days because we're back on the asphalt road and it's nothing special to film. So we have two days of walk until we reach the post office and probably until then it's no more videos. See you for the next time.